A very good morning, children. We we'll learn the English workbook. Hope you have read the chapter and understood the story of the bee. Now open your text and get ready for doing the exercises. Now open the page number two. Let's do it. First, tick the correct option to complete each sentence. I'll read out the sentence. You have to tick the correct option. The first one. Mini knew it was a bee because she saw it, felt it, heard it. How did she know that she, that a bee was inside the flower? Did she see it? Did she feel it? Or did she hear the sound? Whatever is the correct answer, you can tick it. Second one, the bee was trapped inside the flower, sleeping inside the flower, making honey. So what was the bee doing inside the flower? Tick the answer. Moving on to the third question. When the bee comes out of the flower, it will go to other flowers for the nectar. Mini will take it home. Mini will take honey from the bee. What will the bee do when it's out of the flower? So take the answer. Fourth question. Mini thank the bee for the flowers, nectar, honey. Why did she thank the bee? Tick the answer. Fifth one, Mini said that she loves flowers, honey, fruits. What did Mini love? Tick the answer. So we'll check the answers now. First question, Mini knew it was a bee because she heard it. She heard the sound of the bee which was inside the flower. The bee was sleeping inside the flower. Third question, when the bee comes out of the flower, it will go to other flowers for nectar. Fourth one, Minnie thanked the bee for the honey. And fifth, Minnie said that she loves honey. So hope I, you have completed. We'll move to the next page. That is vocabulary, animals and their young ones. So I'll read out, Mimi is a cat. The young one of a cat is called kitten. We already have learned the names of animals and their young ones. So let's read it. Mimi is a cat. What is the name of the cat? It's Mimi. And the young one of a cat is called kitten. Bo is a cow. The young one of a cow is called a calf. What is the young one of a cow? It is called calf. Jumpy is a frog. The young one of a frog is called a tadpole. The young one of a frog is known as a tadpole. Share is a lion. The young one of a lion is called a cub. Look at these pictures. Match the animals with their young ones. One has been done for you. In the picture, animals and their young ones have been given. You have to match lines. One has been done. Sheep, lamb. Like that, you can draw lines from the animals to their young ones. So, hope you have done it. So, what is the young one of a tiger? It is a cub. So, draw a line to cub. Young one of a horse is foal. So, draw a line to foal. Young one of a hen is chicken. Young one of a goat is kid. Draw a line to kid. And the last one, the young one of a dog is a puppy. We'll move on to the next page. It's grammar, common and proper nouns. We already have learned nouns, common noun and proper noun in our previous classes. Now let's do it. Fill in the blanks. Use the nouns given in the box. In the box, some words are given and with these words, we have to fill in the blanks. So what are the words? Zoo, unshill, garage, slipper, biscuit, kittens. So now let's do it. The puppy chewed on mother's dash. We have to take the correct word from the box and fill it. Second question, Sam repairs cars in the dash. Third, we found the dash 
playing by the dustbin. Fourth, her brother's name is Dash. Fifth, we give the dog a dash as a treat. Sixth, the class went on a trip to the dash. Hope you have done it. Let's check the answers whether it's correct or not. The puppy chewed on mother's slipper. So write slipper there. Second, Sam repairs cars in the garage. Second answer is garage. Third one, we found the kittens playing by the dustbin. Right? Kittens there. Fourth, her brother's name is Anshul. Their A should be capital letter because it is a proper noun. Fifth, we gave the dog a biscuit as a treat. Find out the word biscuit from the box and write there. Sixth one, the class went on a trip to the zoo. So we'll move on to the next one. Circle the proper nouns. Underline the common nouns. Proper noun refers to a particular person, place, animal or a thing. So let's find out what is common noun and what is a proper noun. Words are given in the box. Let's read that. Girl, April, Nagpur, London, Road, Dolly, Chair, Sunita, Stone, Ganga, Day, Sunday, River, India, Pencil, Month, City, Delhi, Horse, Holy. So circle the proper nouns and underline the common nouns. Now I'll read out the proper nouns. Dolly, April, Sunday, Nagpur, Sunita, Delhi, London, India, Genga, Holi. These are the proper nouns and the rest are common nouns. Hope you have completed. We'll move on to the next page. Here it's listening. I'll read out a passage and you have to number the sentences in the correct order. So first, I'll read out a passage for you. So it is about a frog. The passage is, frogs lay their eggs in water. Tiny tadpoles hatch from the eggs. The tadpoles grow into froglets. The froglets grow into frogs. So this is a small passage. Hope you have got it. I'll read it once again for you. Frogs lay their eggs in water. Tiny tadpoles hatch from the egg. The tadpoles grow into froglets. The froglets grow into frogs. Now accordingly, you have to number the sentences that has been given for you. Hope you have done it. Let's check. The first sentence is, the tadpoles grow into froglets. That is the third stage. Frogs lay their eggs in water. That is the first stage. The froglets grow into frog. That is the fourth stage. And tiny tadpoles hatch from the eggs. That is the second stage. Hope you have numbered correctly. Let's move on to punctuation. We have learned in the sentence we have to start with a capital letter and end with full stop. Rewrite these sentences using capital letters and full stops. Sentences have been given and in the space provided, we have to rewrite the sentences. So first sentence, Anju has a new mobile phone. Second one, the sun rises in the east. Third one, frogs live on land and in water. So rewrite the sentences and once you have done, we can check the answer. Hope you have completed. Let's check the answer. In the first sentence, Anju has a new mobile phone. The word Anju is the first word. A is the first letter. So we have to write A capital letter. Anju has a new mobile phone and then end with a full stop. Second question. The sun rises in the east. First word, the. 
and the first letter T should be capital and we have to end with a full stop. Third sentence, frogs live on land and in water. What is the first word in the sentence? It is frog and what is the first letter? F. So which letter should be written capital? F. Frogs live on land and in water and put a full stop after the sentence. Let's move on to the next page. Here it's writing. Complete these sentences to describe the picture. A picture has been given. You can see a farm, a farmer on a tractor. You can see goats grazing, a windmill, tree, clouds. All this you can see in the picture. Now we have to describe the picture. In the tractor you can see a lots of pumpkins. The farmer is driving the tractor with loaded with pumpkins and the clouds you can see they are white and fluffy. The trees are tall and green. So accordingly you can describe the picture. So you can see the picture now we have to describe the tractor is dash. You can describe you can write anything that is in the picture. Second one. The clouds are, you can write anything about the clouds looking at the picture. Third one, the trees are, describe about the trees. Fourth one, the, sh the is given, you can write anything. You can see many things in the picture about the sheep, windmill, many things you can see in the picture. So you can complete the sentence and the last sentence also you can complete the sentence. So with this, we finish the first chapter of our English workbook. That's all for today. We'll be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you.